watching the Star News Update, I'm Sandita Nair. Suakam Commissioner Dato N. Siva Subramaniam says the government should allow participants of Jaringan Rakyat Terkindas or Jarit to go on their cycling campaign to voice their concerns over various national issues. He says Jarit's peaceful action of submitting a memorandum to the government was a form of freedom of expression in a democracy. Suakam patutlah main peranan yang penting dan saya telah akan kemukakan semua pandangan saudara-saudari kepada komisen dan komisen akan memutuskanlah. Jarit Coordinator S. Arut Chalbam has told Suakam that during the December campaign, 40 people had been arrested for 200 offences. The campaign ended at Parliament when they handed a memorandum to Deputy Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Senator T. Murugaya. The campaign sought to abolish the Internal Security Act, review the Minimum Wage Act and Housing for the Poor, and stopping the privatization of water, power and medical facilities. The Penilaian Menengah Renda or PMR results are out. A majority of students who sat for the PMR this year had answered the science paper entirely in English. More than 51% of candidates chose English, while 31% answered in Malay and 18% used a mixture of both languages. Education Director General Dato Ali Mudin Muhammad Dom describes the increasing trend of candidates using English as very encouraging. Calon PMR tahun ini merupakan kohort keempat yang mengikuti mata pelajaran Mathematics dan Sains dalam bahasa Inggeris PPSMI dari tingkatan 1 hingga tingkatan 3. PPSMI di sekolah menengah bermula sejak tahun 2003. Oleh itu, mereka bukan merupakan kohort yang mengikuti PPSMI mulai tahun 1. Jadi bermakna di sekolah rendah, uh, mereka mas belum lagi uh, mengikuti PPSMI, hanya bermula pada tingkatan 1. Ali Mudin attributes the increase in the passing rate of English language paper to mathematics and science being taught in English. On whether the analysis will encourage efforts for the science paper to be fully conducted in English, Alimuddin says that it is up to the education minister to decide. The number of straight A students has increased by 0.3%. They make up almost 6% of the total number of PMR candidates. A total of 472,060 candidates sat for the PMR from October 13th to 17th. Datuk Muhammad Nazmi Muhammad Saleh has returned to Proton Holdings Berhad as its chairman. The, na the national car maker issued a statement Tuesday that his appointment will take effect from January 1st. Nazim was previously the managing director of Perusahaan Automobil Nasional in 1993. His last post was director and deputy chairman of Proton Eda until 1996. Former Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's political alliance has won a landslide victory in elections aimed at restoring democracy to the troubled South Asian nation. Election officials say Hasina's alliance has won a two-thirds majority in parliament after votes in most districts have been tallied. The Grand Alliance, led by Hasina's Awami League, has so far swept 255 seats in the 300-seat parliament. Analysts say it is unclear if the losers will accept the results or take their supporters onto the streets to protest, despite comments from independent monitors that the election appeared largely fair and credible. Voter turnout was high, with about 80% of the 81 million eligible voters casting ballots Monday. This is Bangladesh's first election in seven years after two years of emergency rule. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Sangeeta Nair. Thanks for watching.